Busta quality controls of Busta brand 2100 model gluten index centrifuge device are made in Batak quality control laboratory, which has international accreditation certificate. Busta brand 2100 model gluten index centrifuge is placed on a flat and solid surface. The device is used at 220 volt 50 Hz grounded mains voltage. The grounding of the laboratory where the device will be installed is measured. The grounding value should be less than or equal to 5 ohms. If not, the grounding line is drawn again. The device should not be used by persons other than the operator who knows how to use the device. There should be no flammable or combustible materials on or near the device. Unauthorized persons and companies should not be allowed to interfere with the device. In case of any problem, Batak Technical Service should be contacted. Bustuck brand 2100 model gluten index centrifuge is plugged into the socket. Press the on-off button on the back of the device and the device is turned on. The start key, one of the keys on the control panel used on the device, is used to start the analysis. Stop is used to end the test. Search is used to set the date and time. Press the set button for one second. Bustuck brand 2100 model gluten index device is used to determine the gluten quality of semolina, flour, and whole wheat flour samples obtained from wheat. The wet gluten samples in the perforated pans are placed in the index cartridges with the help of a forceps, respectively. The cover of the gluten index device opens. Afterwards, the cartridges with wet gluten samples are placed on the cartridge pins in the index device and the cover is closed. After the ready text is seen on the LCD screen, the device is started by pressing the start button. While the device is operating, you can see the company information is on the top line of the LCD screen. The date on the below left in the row. The time on the right side, the remaining time from the 60 second total operating time on the below left side. The ambient test temperature in the middle right next to it, the 6000 revolutions per minute, which is the actual operating speed of the device. And the stages of the test on the bottom line of the screen. When the test is over, the device gives a visual and audible warning on the LCD screen. Press the stop button. The cover of the device is opened and the cartridges are removed. Gluten, that is, rotten gluten, which passes to the back of the cartridge, is scraped with the help of a spatula and separated from the sieve and collected. Then, the intact gluten remaining on the front of the cartridge is scraped and collected, and placed in the teared weighing container on the scale with 0.0, .0 precision, it is weighed and this value is recorded as the intact gluten amount. Then, the rotten gluten that passes to the back of the cartridge is left on the intact gluten, weighed, and this weighing value is recorded for the total gluten calculation. For the first pouch, percent gluten index value is calculated by dividing the amount of intact gluten on the front of the index cartridge by the total wet gluten weight value obtained by adding the amount of rotten gluten on the back side of the index cartridge, and multiplying the value by 100. The same process is repeated for the sample in the other index cartridge. Gluten, that is, rotten gluten, which passes to the back of the cartridge, is scraped with the help of a spatula and separated from the sieve and collected. Then, the intact gluten remaining on the front of the cartridge is scraped and collected, and placed in the teared weighing container on the scale with 0.0, .0 precision, it is weighed and this value is recorded as the intact gluten amount. For the second pouch, percent gluten index value is calculated by dividing the amount of intact gluten on the front of the index cartridge by the total wet gluten weight value obtained by adding the amount of rotten gluten on the back side of the index cartridge, and multiplying by 100. Gluten index value 97 is entered on the left side of the device screen and saved. The gluten index value on the right is entered as 95 and saved. Dry gluten value on the left side of the device screen is entered as 11,6 and saved. The dry gluten value on the right is entered as 11,8 and saved. Then, by pressing the print button again, the printout is taken. By pressing the feed button, the output length of the paper is extended in order to tear off the printout more easily. Company information on the upper part of the paper we have taken as a printer printout. In the second line, the time on the left, the date on the right. In the third line, 
ambient temperature. In the middle of the fourth line, sample type. In the fifth line, the left sample name on the left, the right sample name on the right. In the sixth, seventh and eighth lines, wet gluten, gluten index and dry gluten values are seen. When it is desired to take the average of the obtained values, the average values can be seen on the device screen by pressing the average button after the recording process. Thank you.